LRBAquatics.com. Hello, world. How's it going? Hope everybody's doing great. If not, hope it gets better for you. So, today I want to share some updates with you. Had an awesome time in Seattle hanging out with Corey from Aquarium Co op, Corvus Oskin, Joel, and uh, Shashimi Whiskey, aka Jimmy Gimble and Dean of Dean's Fish Room, and also Randy Reed of uh, Aquarium Podcast, or, yeah, Aquarius Podcast. And, uh, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's all of them. But I, after that, like, it was, it was a crazy trip. I didn't get much sleep within the uh, last few days, and I kind of had to recoup. That's why it's taken me a little while to get a video out to you guys. Because right after I got back from Chicago, I had to bag up for a swap in Chicago. Or when I got back from Seattle, I had to bag up for Chicago from a swap. And I got some new fish from them. And I wanted to share that with you guys. As you guys saw in the thumbnail, maybe. YouTube doesn't always use my thumbnail. Sometimes they like to put their own in there. But hello, everybody in the chat. See all you awesome people in there. And thanks for hanging out. But yeah, I got these discus here. Can't quite remember the name, what he was calling them, but I was looking for like a redder discus to put in the 240. And these guys were super, super healthy. And uh, like I was barely alive at Chicago, but I was so glad I went. It was so worth it. So many cool things and so many cool people there. Also got these orange rabbit snails from the snail guy, really cool dude, traded him. I'm gonna give him some red shrimp for him. He's got some really nice shrimp, but man, these guys are cool. I'm digging them. I haven't got them there. I haven't eaten the granules yet though. So we'll see. There's some shrimp in there. I'm sure they're mowing on them. Then I also got, what was this? Uh, I think those were the orange rabbits. There's yellow rabbits in here. Yeah, there's a yellow rabbit. He also gave me a spotted rabbit, too. I believe he's right there. Those are cool. And then these guys, I'm super, super, super excited about and super stoked for. These are these are really cool. I about picked these up last time I was at the GCCA swap, which is the Greater... I think, it, yeah, the Greater Chicago Cichlid Association swap. It's a really, really huge swap. Now these guys have ate, eaten the granules. These are Danube newts. So they come from like around middle Europe, somewhere off the Danube river. And that's a male, that's a female. So hopefully they'll have some babies, we'll see. Really cool, I think they may end up being my mascots. If I can get them through quarantine, which they've been eating. They seem happy. She's got a nice little belly. I've seen him dancing in front of her. I have to get that dance for you guys. He'll do like this little dance right in front of her trying to co-work her. So those are pretty interesting. I think that is all I got for fish and stuff from there. And let's see, real quick. Oh, other side, yeah, the living room's like an absolute mess. I was busy looking at the fish tanks. But yeah, this thing is absolutely grown out like crazy. Yeah, prehistoric look. It's also known as a crested newt. So yeah, the newt kind of reminds me of like a uh, stegosaurus a little bit. I like how you can like see through. That's like back through the tank. Really hard with this light. I wish it'd let me change the contrast, but I gotta do some trimming on that. I get some of that HC on the site and stuff. <laughs> then also gonna be ripping up the 240 tonight too. So this is another reason why I wanted to hop on here real quick. Kind of show you guys that before I start ripping it up. It's just been growing like a jungle. I'm gonna make little floating islands with these things. A real floaty bark like driftwood. Just throw some plants on it, make little islands. Let's see here. All right, 240. Down in the garage here somewhere. Do, 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 do. I gotta get the dehumidifiers off. Okay, cool, cool. But yeah, I'm gonna start ripping up all these plants. Oh, this is really cool too. I gotta show you guys this. 
get this fan off here. But this is really cool. Check it out. These are going to be labels for the fish room. So Haley of Oddball Aquatics, which is also a YouTube channel, has been making me these labels. So these are magnetic labels. Like, check that out. That is sweet. And uh, we're going to put that on in front of the tank. So we'll have a little magnetic strip. I got to get some better glue for the uh, magnet strips to get them to really stick. But that, that should be cool. We're going to do plants and all that stuff as well. And that'll be awesome. So next thing is pulling all these plants out of here. And because this is just like complete jungle now. And uh, I've got to do something. Because if not, it's all going to start turning into algae. Because if you don't take care of your plants and you just let them keep growing, it'll just start turning into algae. Really digging this red lotus. They say not to let it grow up at top like that. Because it'll like get all stringy. But i also seen lilies propagate like that too. So I kind of want to see if it'll propagate like that. I don't know. I got to give it more room, that's for sure. I usually they say to cut those stems off. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just get another one. Or This one's actually running a little bit. Yeah, there's another one over on this side. So I'll just probably propagate it and keep it from jumping. That way I'd have one. Is Oddball from Pittsburgh. So no, that's not all Oddball Aquatics. So that would be Eric Bodrock and Regina Spotty, which are awesome people they're over in pennsylvania and uh man that light is terrible on there getting some terrible glare i wish i could like change it kind of barely but no she's oddball aquatics i'm sure she gets that a lot i guess she had that name before she even knew who those people are but it is getting a little green water back Got to get the water changed, but I don't want to do water changes until I get that. And hopefully these guys get along with their new discus buddies here after a while. Because a lot of these tanks are going to start blowing up because there's quite a few swords in there. I can't believe how bushy that one's getting. Then also, um, let's see, this weekend on Sunday, I am going to be in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So flip you guys over here. There's going to be a swap. Grand Valley Aquarium Club is going to be throwing it. Let's see. I think. Or no, it's a Saturday. Okay, that's good to know. Usually they're Sundays, but. There's the address. You can go to their site. GVAAquariumClub.org. I'll be there at the swap. I haven't been to it yet, so it should be interesting. I guess like. He said he had like 55 tables sold, so there should be a lot of stuff there. And uh, yeah, maybe I'm going to start putting Michigan on my map too. And uh, yeah. Then there's a lot of other places coming. I see. I think I'm going to be Kansas City the weekend after that. Or the week of. That'll be coming up. So yeah. I think that does it for updates for right now. Um, we got to get into this 240, move a lot of those plants around. Like if you look down here, there's not a whole lot of plants going on in there. Mind my recycling. I got to have a recycling spot. goes with my lawnmower. Uh, that's a space heater, radiate space heater. I like those a lot better than the infrareds. But yeah, as you can see, these could use some more plants. So let me just throw that 240 stuff around. All right, I'm going to hop off here before this gets too long. I appreciate you guys all hanging out. Palmer Aquatic says, do you live stream on your phone, Lucas? Yes, I do. I use Verizon because I got the best service to be doing it. And uh, not sponsored either. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz we do on YouTube. And I appreciate you all hanging out. And until next time, everybody, have a great one. Back to work I go. And uh, also, yeah, see, Friday night I'll be on. I don't know. I may even hop on later. I'm not going to make any promises. Let's just say I'll see you guys later.